All right. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Today I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite things that I was really loving in the month of September. It's going to be a compilation of some clothes. We got some beauty products, food. I'll share just like my favorite like books and movies that I've been really enjoying uh, at the start of this fall season. To it, <laughs> the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is these couple pieces right here. Um, the first is going to be these shoulder pad tees. So they really just look like pretty basic, honestly. I will pop in some outfits that I have them styled with, but they are structured here with a pad. So it's just like a cotton t-shirt material and it's really more of a tank top. So it is going to just like kind of jut out to about here on your shoulder. But yeah, it's, they're super comfortable and they're just long enough to really like tuck in. You can wear them with anything, high-waisted stuff, leather skirts, like leather looking, le like pretty much anything. I have a blog post that I can probably link below so you guys can check that out, um, different ways to wear these shoulder pad tanks. I first started seeing them in probably like the beginning of the summer. So I'm jumping on this trend probably a little late, but I don't care because I love it now. And I was kind of taken aback by it because I wasn't really sure how to feel about it. But once I started just seeing a style like as an everyday piece, I absolutely love it. So I have this color, a black color, and then a white one. I don't have the white one because I wore it on my girls weekend that I just had gotten back from today. And I got a bunch of stuff on it because we were going to wineries and I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I was a little drunk, so we're just going to leave it at that. But these shirts you can get pretty much anywhere, any like retailer online. I got them from Zara. That's probably where I get a lot of my clothes from, as you can tell if you've been starting to follow my stuff and like really see what I've been posting. But I got this from Zara. It was $19, so like $20 t-shirts, which I don't think is that bad because I mean, I think they're pretty like they're pretty good quality with like the structure and what you're getting. And I were a size small in these. So yeah. And then, so on to the next thing that I have been seriously, like so obsessed with, I've been wanting to wear this with everything. And I think this jacket, this blazer is like a really great option to wear as just a regular jacket, like over just as a layering piece, because since it's not getting super, super cold out yet, I think you can still get away with not wearing a lot of jackets, but I think this is a great option. So I'm gonna stand back a little bit. This is an oversized tan colored blazer. It is a Topshop brand. I got it off of ASOS. This one was a little bit more expensive. This one was like a hundred bucks. I am sure you can find it for cheaper elsewhere. I was very, very attached to finding this color uh, as just like a neutral. It's something that I don't have. And it's something that I just, Think that can go with so many different things and I feel like I said that about all my clothes because I really try to like buy things you can wear with so many different options and then if you end up spending a little bit more money on something I mean I guess for me at the end of the day it might not be as bad because you're wearing it with so many different outfits and I think this is such a classic piece you can have in your wardrobe for pretty much forever unless it breaks down on you or you don't put it in I don't even know but yeah, I love it. So it's just something simple. It has two front buttons, um, these little fake pockets, which I kind of wish those were real. I love pockets, but irrelevant. <laughs> um, and then they have little sleeve buttons on them as well. It's double lined. It has like a nice kind of satin um, lining in it as well. And then it has a little bit of structure with like a little light shoulder pad on that. But yeah, I wear this just like with a ton of basic tops. I can dress it up like with jeans, like you can dress it up with jeans. You can probably like get away with wearing it to work with leggings, with a leather skirt. Again, I have another blog post of different ways to wear that blazer. <laughs> so I will also link that below and you can uh, check it out on my blog as well. Okay. But, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I wear for this one, for this blazer, I wear a size six. Um, and again, this is from Topshop, like it's the brand, but I bought it off of ASOS.com. So yeah, and ASOS, if you don't know really what that is, and I'm sure a lot of you do, 
and I might sound silly saying this, but it's just essentially another type of Zara, a little bit more funkier, um, but same type of price points, same type of quality. You got the picture there. Uh, okay, so not actually, so next I'm gonna do this one, this sweater that I got from Target. My dear friend, Anel, who um, definitely influenced me to buy this because it looks so cute on her. She posted a picture on Instagram. I love her. She's Anel Lauren on Instagram. Go check her out. But it is just this simple cropped sweater with just a big oversized little neck. I've worn it in um, one of my Instagram posts. And if I can figure out how to edit the video, I will put the picture in here. But if not, then just go on my Instagram and you'll see it. Anyways, it's a cropped, this like burnt orange color that I love. I've seriously like been loving this color for a really long time. And I think it's the perfect color for fall. And then they have these sleeves that are... They seem pretty like straight and narrow, but they actually are, when you have it on, they're just a little bit oversized and flowy. So I love that. I love that about sleeves um, when it comes to just like long sleeves and turtlenecks. And then the wrist is going to be very like cinched to you. So I think that's going to help with like the overall like flowiness on the arm as well. But so, so cute. This is the brand Wild Fable. Again, got it from Target. This is a size small. I have worn this just like with a high-waisted pair. I think these pair of jeans just like a high-waisted pair. But again, I'm pretty sure you can pull it off with like a pair of like pattern bottoms or like plaid bottoms I think will look really cute with this like plaid like straight leg jeans or even a leather skirt. I'm pretty sure you can wear anything with a leather skirt that I mean like in my, in my opinion, I think you can. Okay, so the next two things that I'm gonna show you are from Amazon and I am pretty sure I've said this before in one of my videos, but whoever is running the Amazon fashion account is literally just, they get me every time. I shouldn't be spending money, but I am. I'm sorry, Colin, everyone, it's done. Okay, I can't help myself. But the good thing though about buying stuff from Amazon is that not only like you get it super quickly, but they're pretty inexpensive and stuff that you can find from like, I would say Target, Old Navy, all of those other places, except for you get it in like two days and you're good to go. But uh, yeah, so this is one of the sweaters that I got. It is a simple kind of like cable or like knit sweater. Very, very soft and slightly oversized. I feel like if you wanted it to be like way like longer, you could probably just go up in a size. I've got this in a size small. But I really love this detail on it because it looks, it feels like a little grungy, I guess if you want to call it that, but it has a seam on the outside and then a seam on the sleeve here. And then it goes all the way down, whoops, can't really see, on the side. So I like just the kind of undone look. I think it definitely puts an edge onto your outfit. I mean, I personally think so. So I wore this, I haven't really posted any pictures of this, but I really enjoyed wearing this with a pair of like shiny black leggings or like a pair of like leather looking leggings and then just style of black booties and a hat and you're good to go I think personally so yeah but this is pretty just like basic the sleeve is going to be a little bit loose but then it's going to be the same at the cuff as well a little bit looser fit which is super comfortable personally to me the brand is called Tars T-A-R-S-E not 100% sure, but again, I got it from Amazon and I can link all of this stuff below for you. So then that way you can just click on the link and you'll see it. But they have a bunch of different colors in these. I'm pretty sure I'm getting another sweater from this one. I'm just waiting for it. I think it should be coming next week, but it's not the same exact color, but I think it's from the same brand. So I am pretty excited because I like this one so much and I'm sure to like that one as well. Next and last clothing piece that I have that was like one of my favorites that I got was this white cropped just kind of thin sweater. I use this for layering so I actually have worn this under so on my girls trip weekend I wore it under this blazer and we were just going out to dinner and we were hanging out and watching the sunset on the beach so I mean it was definitely cold once the sun went down and I'm glad that I had this paired with this blazer um just as like a second layer, but this is so, so cute. I feel like you can, again, wear it in so many different ways. It says, c'est la vie on it, c'est la vie Paris. 
and it's just like a simple basic print I think this was $25 or I mean not over 30 so I like not bad and I think definitely worth it it is just a thicker cotton type of material so it's not exactly a fleece like sweatshirt type of material like I said it is a cropped sweatshirt hooded sweatshirt and then it has just like black string detail on here like silver little um string holes at the top and then the sleeves are I mean the sleeves are flowy a little bit as well so not super tight fitting and then just your basic like cuff here but I love it I again I'm gonna be wearing it um a bunch this fall I can either dress it up with like probably plaid bottoms this would look really cute with plaid bottoms and maybe just again this like this blazer to go along with it that's always an outfit option you can do jeans you can do shiny leathering leggings shiny leggings leather leggings anything that you got in your wardrobe can pretty much go with that as well okay so that was all of the um fashion items that i had so next i have two of these bags from amazon that i've been love love loving the first actually i'll talk about this one okay so the first bag that i got in the beginning of september i want to say is this like embossed just like kind of alligator croc print bag and it has a large pocket in here sorry you're gonna see some stuff but it has a large pocket in the front here and then you can see it has a pocket in the back so I'll normally like put my phone and gum hello <laughs> so I'll put my phone and my gum in there and yeah but I'll just put it over my shoulder and I'll wear the bag like this I don't want to say it's a fanny pack, even though like technically it is. I'll say belt bag or over the shoulder bag or something like that. But honestly, this is the best small compact way I think to carry around all my things. I, like I said, I had my girls weekend that I just came back from with my friends and we were going around to wineries and stuff like that. And this was perfect because it held my phone, my card, my ID, gum, keys, like all the things still, but I think it just made my outfit look all the more cuter with this cute accessory with it as well. So I think this was 40 bucks. And again, I got it from Amazon. Next is just this simple black bag. It has a button at the top there just to kind of close it off. And then, sorry, I have a bunch of stuff in here. But it's just like a simple one. I'm not really showing this in the best way. But it's just open all in here. And then it has a pocket in there as well not again not very like structured very kind of crinkly but i actually love this bag because i think it's just something really great to throw on your shoulder carries pretty much everything i normally bring this bag to work so if i have just like a couple of like journals or my ipad in here um that i might need then great it carries it and along with all my other kind of necessities as well so this bag was $15 and I don't want to say that this is like going to be the greatest quality bag either, but it's $15. So I think that if you were to go and buy this, um, just keep that in mind because I, the fabric does feel pretty thin. Is this bag going to last forever? No, it's not. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going to, but I think for the time being $15 for this price point, I think it looks really cute. And it's really like what I was wanting. So I'm good with it. And I'm good with it not lasting forever either. Because I know that if I wanted to, the bag to last forever, then I would save my money and get a designer bag and just have it be that. But I would rather have some things like this. Uh, because you can just, again, pair it with anything. And if you don't have the money, I think this is just a great option for a designer looking bag uh, as well to have in your wardrobe. But I'll show again closer kind of up. So this, it has like an outside seam, which I really like. I think it's different. And then the bottom half or the bottom of the bag has another kind of like outside seam. It goes just like all the way around. But I really do enjoy that. And yeah, it's great. So that is my, two, those are my two accessory items that I have, again, from Amazon. I will try to figure out how to link everything below to make it very easy if you like any of these things and want to check them out i think they're definitely worth it for sure next next thing i want to roll into is ooh, i'll show you two pairs of shoes 
be like the last two fashion-y items that I'm gonna have for you. So the first pair of shoes that I'm going to show you are going to be these black boots. And sorry, they're gonna seem dirty. So if I can find a picture, I will show you a way cuter picture in this video. But they, again, they actually match my belt bag. They are just this like embossed alligator like croc print with a zipper, silver zipper up the side. And then it just has like your basic black, like leather looking front chunky heel like so. So not too tall, but I think just tall enough to give you some height and definition for sure. And then it has an inside zipper and this is where you like will zipper your foot in. But again, I freaking love black boots. I think I get them every single year and I think I have to get them every single year because I just wear the hell out of them and it's time. So these are mine that I got for this year. They are Steve Madden and I got them, what size? I got them in a size seven and a half I wear, but Steve Madden shoes, they were on sale at DSW. I really am not sure if they're there anymore, but if you go online to DSW, Steve Madden, there is like so many similar types of shoes that you can get from there as well. You can also pretty much get Steve Madden shoes anywhere, I believe. Like I know like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, like always have them as well. And that's where I get them from too. But yeah, I love them. And they, I think I got them on sale for like 30, for like $30. And I think they were normally like an $80 shoe. So go me getting things on sale. Uh, these next pair of shoes, I again will link a photo because or put a photo in there because these are super dirty. They are just a basic pair of Adidas sneakers that I have honestly been wearing with almost every single outfit, jeans and like an outfit like this. I wear these sneakers with, um, I wear them with like athletic outfits as well. Pretty much anything. I wear them to work every single day. Um, I work retail and I think just having like a nice pair, like a cute pair of like fashion gym shoes that actually like will structure your foot is great. They are just your basic white. They have the three black lines. So these have been around for a while. It's nothing like groundbreaking that I, uh, or like a trend I'm trying to start here. Definitely like been around for a while and a bunch of these types of shoes have as well. But I think it's a great staple to have in your wardrobe with, with your shoes, because again, you can wear them with so many different things and you can look really comfortable, but also sporty and a little chic at the same time. So I love it. Yeah. I wear a size, what size? I wear a size seven and a half. So I think I really flex between seven to seven and a half, depending on the brand for sure. Um, but yeah, I think these ones are a little bit more up there. These ones were like 60 or $70, but I mean, again, I wear them every single day. So I think it's definitely worth spending that little bit extra of, of money for them too. Okay. So all the fashion stuff is done. We're all right. So now guys, we're going to get into some of my beauty favorites that I've had all month long. Uh, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the summer Fridays. What is it? Lip butter balm. So you can see there. Oopsie. Sorry. You can see there it's in kind of just like a foil tube. Definitely been loving it. I use this as an overnight lip mask and it just really like hydrates my lips. Make It just makes them feel like nice and plump and soft in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I love it and it smells like vanilla. Highly, highly recommend. You can probably wear this too as just like one of your regular like chapsticks or lip balms, but you really do have to use such a small amount because then the fact that if you put too much on, it's just so over, <laughs> just don't do it. Just do a small amount of this, uh, at night or during the day, use it to your discretion. But I love using this at night and my lips feel amazing in the morning for sure. Okay, so next item that we're gonna talk about, it's not necessarily like makeup or beauty, but let's say mental beauty. <laughs> um, so this is the Highline Wellness CBD oil, and I got it in mint. This is just, it's 500, um, 500 milligrams. It's just a one ounce bottle of CBD oil. Highline Wellness is just like a really, it's a vegan type of brand, but they sell all CBD products. They have gummies, they have the bath bombs. I have been using probably CBD oil for the past two years. And I, well, I use it at night to try to help me like relax myself a little bit, um, a little bit more so I can just like go to sleep a little bit easier. Cause I've had 
kind of a hard time throughout my life, like going to bed without like, I have to have the TV on or sometimes we'll just like be waking up in the middle of the night. But uh, this really does help me calm down, makes me just a little bit more sleepy uh, to put me to bed. Um, I think it's definitely helped me sleep throughout the night. But if I'm feeling kind of anxious about certain things, like I'll still wake up like, but, and that's just me, <laughs> honestly, but this definitely helps. And I, like I said, I, it's part of my routine. So I take it every night or every other night. It totally works. It's, let's see here, they're vegan, it's gluten-free, non-GMO hemp, and THC-free. Honestly, my recommendation, before you put anything in your body, I would definitely research it and really what it is. I am not a professional. I'm not a CBD connoisseur, if you will. Do your research, and if you still aren't sure, ask your doctor how it can affect your body. But just from taking Highline Wellness CBD oil for about over a month, it, it works for me. So I love it and I'm going to continue to uh, frequently take it as well. So the next item I have on here is I follow Danny Austin on Instagram. She's so cute. Give her a follow. We do Amazon. She does like a bunch of Amazon posts and Amazon favorites as well. So I got this little scrubber from Amazon. It comes in a pack of four and I use it when I am just washing my face. Not every single time I wash my face because it's definitely an exfoliant. It's just a silicone and it has really just soft like bristles on it just to help with a soft exfoliation on your face when you are cleansing. But yeah, it comes in a pack of four. I think it was maybe like 10, 15 bucks for like four of them. And quite honestly, that should last you a really long time because I really can't foresee this like getting to be kind of gross and like worn out after like only a couple of uses. So I think that'll really last you a long time with the four. But yeah, I've been loving it so far. I think it definitely does help to exfoliate my skin. I get a lot of like, just like blackheads and like clogged pores around my nose area. And that's really kind of where like I tend to focus that because I think that it's just dead skin there and is what is clogging my pores and causing blackheads. I'm pretty sure that's what blackheads are, is just dead skin in your pores. And don't quote me on that. Again, I'm not a professional on any type of skincare, but I think just from like videos and stuff that I've watched, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyways, so this I definitely I've enjoyed. I have used brushes in the past, like those mechanic, just like the mechanical face brushes, and they're they're fine. I think they can definitely work for people, but I think sometimes it's just too rough on my skin. And I think having these little silicone um, soft exfoliation kind of like face washers are a great thing to have if you have a little bit more scented skin or if you feel like the brush is just too rough on it. But okay, next thing. So I have been loving Thrive Cosmetics for probably like since August. Um, my friend Becca, she had recommended it to me because she's been getting their products and I have definitely seen them. Like I've seen beauty bloggers and beauty YouTubers talking about them. Um, I just have never, I just never bought anything from them. Anyways, so I have two different products. The first product that I'm going to talk about is this eye brightener and it is called, so yeah, it's called the Brilliant Eye Brightener and I have it in the Muna, yeah, the Muna shade, which is just like this darker brown shade. I have this Muna shade on my eyes right now. Um, I really just started, I applied the product straight on straight on my eyelid from the little crayon section you have there. Sorry, it's a little dirty, but I just applied it on my eyelid gently and then I just buffed it in with my pinky and that seemed to really work. I didn't need to use a, a brush with it. I thought just using like my pinky or even like a beauty blender, I think would be a really good option as well, just to blend it out. And I just blended it up into my crease and that's the only thing that I'm wearing on my eye today. And it was super easy, so I love it. So I have the Aurora shade here. It's just a simple rose gold shade that I wear on like the inner corner of my eye and then probably just on the front part. And then I'll always pair it with like a darker or a little bit darker of an eyeshadow on my crease and my the outer part of my eye just to like balance it out because I feel like this would just be too kind of like boring and light, but use them however you want to, but they're really great. They last all day. 
yeah, so if you haven't checked out Thrive Cosmetics, I definitely would. They donate money when you uh, make purchases to their causes and organizations, and you get a makeup bags too. That And they're just like, they're pretty simple and plain, but also I just think it's like a nice little gift to give to people as well. Ooh, and I forgot. So at the bottom, so like where the color is, this comes off, and then it's a sharpener. So obviously this has a rounded edge and if you wanted to sharpen it you can just twist it on the top there and to get just a finer edge but again i'm not using like definitely i'm not defining anything so the rounded edge works for me but yeah i love them definitely worth checking them out again i got the aurora and the muna shade they're just like a brown and a rose gold color i think those were 24 dollars each so i mean a little pricey but i think that they, I mean, they've lasted me like over a month, so I will take it. The next item that I have from Thrive Cosmetics, the last one, sorry, it's dirty, is the liquid extension or the liquid last extensions mascara. Uh, I got, I just have this in the rich black color, but this is a tubing mascara and this is actually the first tubing mascara I've ever tried. I have always just gotten like, you know, regular mascara, whatever, but I seriously love it. I don't curl my, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to sound kind of lame. I don't curl my lashes. This is just my regular lash. And I think I like am grateful in that area is they just, you know, like stay up and it's amazing. But the, uh, I feel like honestly, the mascara really helps with lengthening and definitely giving volume, like at the, and uh, like at the base there too. But I love it. This doesn't, this hasn't really clumped on me. This hasn't like flaked off my eyelashes. And I think that's the reason why they <laughs> like they made do mascara so it doesn't clump off on you. But I love this so much. Honestly, I'm never going back to another regular like mascara ever again. Uh, the brush. So I don't know if this is like a turn off to people, but the brush is one of those just like kind of silicone bristles. I know I used to love the, like the really fat brushes with like just the thicker bristles because that definitely gave me some great volume. But again, those formulas would just like flake off on me by the end of the day and I just have a bunch of like black. It was a mess. I wasn't into it. I'm never going back after using this Thrive Cosmetics, uh, the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It's the bomb. Check it out. And it's super easy to take off. I don't have, I don't know, I'm sure they do make a waterproof, but I don't get waterproof. Just and last but not least, we're moving on to the final piece. I'm sorry, I am talking way too much about these and I need to be shorter and concise. Is this Tatcha, it is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Holy cannoli, this stuff is seriously the freaking bomb. It is, it is just the best. It pucks, if you will. Thank you, Serena Kerrigan, for making me laugh on that. Um, so it's a sheet mask in here, and it just has, like, the luminous dewy um, formula in it. It's for normal to dry skin. It's super, super hydrating. I'm not a 1,000% sure if you have oily skin, if you're going to like something like this. Uh, maybe you will. I don't know. But so it's a sheet mask. You leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm not gonna open it because then I just don't wanna waste these because these are like 12 bucks. So it's a little expensive. But if you have a ton of points at Sephora, if you have at least more than 500 points, you get $10 off. So I, that's why I got like a good pack of these. I think I got what, one, one, two, three. I think I got a four, I got a four pack and it was like $48, but then I got $10 off and I'm gonna use these and I, We'll use the mask and I leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes after I do like an exfoliating mask. So something that's maybe like a little bit rougher on my skin. I use this after it and this seriously just, I can feel, I, I'm not kidding. And I feel like sometimes people exaggerate about this, but I am 1000% not exaggerating. I just feel my skin just like getting a like full glass, full gallon drink of water. It just feels so soft and so hydrated. And then there is a bunch, so after I use the mask, there is a bunch of just like extra product in here that I will use for like the rest of the week as just like an extra like 
nighttime uh, moisturizer as well. And I'm still getting kind of, I'm, my skin is still feeling super hydrated. So, I mean, even though it's $12, it kind of lasts you the rest of the week, if that makes sense. So I think that's a good deal. Okay, beauty products are over with. I wanna talk about some food and some snacks that I've actually really been enjoying. I just got a Thrive Market uh, subscription. I got that a couple months ago. Uh, just because I wanted to figure out some healthier snacks, some keto-friendly snacks, stuff like that to have during the day so I'm not eating a bunch of crap, essentially. So one of the things that I got was Chomps. A, they are a, I actually am almost out of it, but they're a beef stick, really, if you will. They, it just has zero sugar, which really makes it keto-friendly. I'm pretty sure it's just like no sugar, no grain. I don't even know if Colin is going to watch this video, but I'm sure he's going to be laughing at me at this part when I'm trying to explain keto and I don't know that much about it, but he does. So all I know is that no sugar, no grain and chomps is that. Um, but yeah, it's just a beef stick, Whole30 approved, certified gluten-free, keto-friendly, great, but they have several different flavors on the Thrive Market website, but I got the sea salt because this is my first time trying it. And I've always really liked beef jerky or beef sticks. So if you like that consistency, then I think you will absolutely love these. I think they have like a pizza or like flavored one that I want to try out next. But yeah, so was $15. You got 10 sticks. So it's a little more expensive, but I, I mean, it definitely fills me up. And I think it's a great snack to have when you just want to eat a bunch of crap go have a beef stick instead. Okay, so next is the pumpkin seeds, these nacho flavor pumpkin seeds. These, um, these pumpkin seeds, the delicious, they're delicious. <laughs> Another really great snack. You don't get too much in them. So it really, it's like all air, but you know, that's how much you get, which kind of sucks, but uh, they're crunchy coated nacho flavored pumpkin seeds, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, certified paleo, grain-free, gluten-free, keto certified, really great. Another really great snack to have. Last, last things. Oh my God, I need to go quicker. Are the Dang Bars. Dang. Uh, these ones are, so what is this one? This is a keto, non-GMO, plant-based, gluten-free, uh, it's just a protein bar. And... I got, oh, this is my last one in here. This is the Crazy Rich Chocolate one. So it has just like chocolate. Um, looks like it's got some almonds in it. Super, super delicious. I normally have these on my way home from work uh, just to hold me over for dinner. And it's amazing. And I, I drive to work like 30, or like 30 to 40 minutes. But they are delicious and chocolatey and sweet. And I think that's something that I started craving was sweet things because there's great like salty snacks for keto people or people who eat want to eat keto friendly but these these work as well this one is the where is it the oh my god it's the cinnamon chocolate a bunch of great stuff it's definitely fills you up they're delicious and sweet oops sorry dang bars check them out <laughs> okay so that is it for food. Oh my God, we're almost done. I have, oh, okay. So we're almost done. So the last thing I have to talk about is the Untamed book by Glennon Doyle. She is an author. Well, she's an author that uh, wrote several books before. So author of Love Warrior, but she is, she's amazing. This book really, uh, it talks about her coming out, her ending her marriage. Like she has dealt with a lot of problems in her past or a lot of things that she felt she had to conform to according to her society, according to her religious beliefs. And she talks about how she is untamed. If, I think it's, especially in a time that we're going through right now, I highly suggest it as, I think it's a good read that everyone, or maybe for women, and maybe for men too, I don't know, like whoever. Uh, but if you maybe are having some problems with feeling like you need to conform to society or maybe conform to all your religious beliefs or something like that, if you question things that you're unsure about, I think Untamed is a great, great book to read. 
I just think it puts a lot of things into perspective and yeah. Okay, last but not least are some movies that I wanna talk about. I feel like people are always, or I'm seeing a lot of things on Instagram where people are just talking about like Halloween movies or like spooky type of movies and TV shows that like you wanna get into or people are always looking for suggestions. So here are mine. So my favorite Halloween and spooky time movies are obviously Hocus Pocus and fun, funny fact about myself, I used to be the biggest wimp. My older cousin, she, when I was younger, so I was born in 92, this movie, I'm assuming it came out in 93 or something like that, 92, 91, I don't know, something like that. So I wanted to hang out with my cousin and her friends and my cousin's like, no, get away. We're gonna watch a scary movie, you're not gonna like it. And I'm like, yes, I am, I'm gonna be fine. She's like, I don't think so. So I'm like, no, I wanna watch. She's like, okay, fine. But if you are gonna sit here and watch it with us, you can't leave. And I'm like, okay. I was so, I was so scared. And I remember sitting on the stairs and like running out of the room because I was so scared of Bette Midler. Bette Midler was the scariest looking thing I've ever seen in, in my life. Like, blah. no, not for me. And for probably about since I was in high school. Yeah, high school. I refused to watch that. Like my throughout my entire life, I refused to watch that movie. Isn't that funny? Uh, slash embarrassing, mostly embarrassing. But here we are at 28 years old. I love Hocus Pocus. I think it's cute, a little childish and silly, but it definitely puts you in the mood for Halloween and fall time. I love it. I just talked about that movie for way too long. I'm sorry, snooze. Next is Dark Shadows. Uh, I love a bunch of Tim Burton movies. I have always really loved Tim Burton and enjoyed those. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride. Also, those are other, other two faves. Dark Shadows is hilarious. It's very cute. It has Johnny Depp, Eva Green in it. Hel Helen Bonham Carter. I might be saying her name wrong. I'm really, I really apologize. And Michelle Pfeiffer, great, great cast. And it's a, yeah, it's a cute like Halloween movie for sure. So I recommend that one. And then Sleepy Hollow. I watch Sleepy Hollow like every day and Colin always complains because I have it on, but it's, it's a really good like thriller movie. Another Johnny Depp one. And he is in it with Christina Ricci or Ricci whatever. It's just a story about the Headless Horseman and Ichabod, like an Ichabod Crane and stuff like that. I love it. It's amazing. And I also am watching Ratched. I love American Horror Story. So any American Horror Story seasons like that you want to get into the fall spirit, you can watch them all on Netflix. And then they just put on the new, it's not, I don't think it's really American Horror Story because it doesn't have like that branding on it at all. All the creators and like all of the cast that are normally in American Horror Story is in this show, Ratched. It has uh, Sarah Paulson in it. I just love her. She can do no wrong. Uh, super spooky, super creepy, but it's awesome and very good. So if you like American Horror Story, you'll love that. Okay, but my last is not spooky, but it is definitely something that I have been watching and I literally tell everyone about this girl. Her name is Serena Kerrigan. And I'm sorry, I'm beating a dead horse about it. Um, to all of my friends, if you are watching this right now, you've already heard this, but she is amazing. She's a confidence coach on Instagram. She also um, runs the account Let's Fucking Date, which is a show that she created during quarantine. Like this woman is, this girl is amazing. She also girl, woman, she is amazing. Serena does a Instagram live every Wednesday night at 7.30 central time, 8.30 Eastern time. She's in New York. She goes on two dates. So they last a half hour each and it's Instagram live and they're hilarious. Uh, you just watch her dates. People are commenting on them. The comments are hilarious. And then she does an hour after show. That is also hilarious as well because she has a bunch and it's an Instagram live and a bunch of people are just requesting to go live with her and talking about the two dates that she had. And yeah, check her out. It's a great, it's a great show. And honestly, I am not a bachelor watcher. I'm not into that whole thing and I never was but I love let's fucking date so 
definitely worth watch worth watching. Wow, can't talk. And we're done. Yay. <laughs> that took forever. And I'm sorry, this video is going to be a long one for me to edit. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check some of the stuff out and comment down below what your favorite things are or what your favorite fall things or things that you love during the month of September. Also, please feel free to comment any videos that you want to see next. I hope you have an amazing day and I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.